And so we just walked away from the market. It's like packed. And I've just got a whole bag full of stuff, so let's see how far I've got to walk. It's like it's a good day though. Yeah, I got a heap of stuff, so when I get home, I'll show it all and yeah, go from there. It's a long walk. Anyways, I'll update when I get home. That's my backpack. I've been to the market, as you've seen. So now, let's dig into what I got. And I spent a lot more this time than last time. But anyways, I was going to record my GoPro again. I bought it with me, and I didn't end up using it, so... Okay, so this can wait till last. And this other stuff... It can come out. Yeah. Alright. Let's start with these. Now, I'm a huge Nike Air fan. And I seen these last time. From the same guy who was selling the Nike Air Stabs. Now, as you seen in the previous video with the Nike Air Stabs, I got a size 9 and a size 10. And I haven't been back there since because the weather has been absolutely terrible. And I went to him, he didn't quite remember me, and I think his wife was trying to say, no, 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 don't give him any shoes. And I'm like, no, I did buy them from here, but, you know, it's a market. But the, the guy was nice enough, and he was like, no, nah, no, nah, that's fine, you can choose another pair. So I chose the Air Maxes that I was having a look at last time. They are size 11s, and they were made in 2014, so they're only, let's just say, four years old. Fairly good nick, though, must say. And they're a good colour for me as well, black and grey, which is, like, that's my colour all the way. Plastic bag. Uh, and more plastic bag. You know what, they can just, everything can just come out. I hope you didn't see that. Okay. Bag is empty. Well, obviously you can tell what they are, so I'm just going to get these out of the way. Look. This is an LG G4, although it's got a lot of nicks and bumps and... I mean, it's got a gold cover. I like the gold cover. Um, I like the G4s. They were quite reliable, if I remember correctly. It's got a battery in it. Yeah, he said it didn't turn on, but hey, you never know. I will see. It said He said parts only, but as you know, I usually fix this sort of stuff and all that. So, yeah, this was a total of 10 whole dollars. That's that one. So that can just go over there. The next one is this Acer Iconia tablet. Now, for some reason, the back feels like it's going to come off. Okay, so this Iconia, what is it? Iconia B1. It looks like it has some sort of, maybe a cash converter sticker, I'm not too sure. But he's like, yeah, this doesn't work either. And just said five bucks. And I said, okay, whatever. I don't care. For me to just pull it apart, I don't really care terribly much. So, so far, we're up to 15 bucks. The shoes were free, of course, because, oh, I mean, they, they were technically $20, but, yeah. The next things I got here are from one of my, one of my favorite movies of all time. If, if you're going to give me any quotes from any film, it's going to be The Fast and the Furious. I usually stuff around with my mate a lot and tell him about, I like the tuna here. Bullshit ass, well, no one likes the tuna here. So I got Brian's cars from the Fast and the Furious, the first one. Uh, they are missing parts. They're missing the plastic cases. <laughs> That's the first. Uh, this is missing the spoiler. This is missing the spoiler and the sunroof and the windscreen. But I got these for $3 each. And I really wanted this because I've got this packaged. So I will take this out of there. And have it just loose because that's what I really, really wanted it for. It's like my favorite car right there. So, yeah, $3 each for them. We're getting into the more fun stuff. Right, another plastic bag. Now, this guy had some games on the table, and I thought, hmm. He went on saying, like, oh, they were expensive and all that stuff. Yeah, fair enough, they were expensive. So was an S Mini. That was expensive, but whatever. Which means that that's what I got. <laughs> this is a little mini Mega Drive. Um, 
It has $25 on the tag here. However, he gave it to me for $20, which is very kind. Um, I wanted to play some of my old Mega Drive games. Um, I do have the original Mega Drive, but I don't have... I know I do have the AV cable, I just can't bother connecting it all up and finding the power supply for it out in the garage and everything like that. Yeah, otherwise it's in good condition. I mean, it's a very cheap looking unit. Oh, it's got rubber grips on it, in case you want to take it around or something like that. You see the insides of it there? That'll give me a bit of fun. I wonder what it looked like with a 32X plonked in it. Otherwise, I got the instruction manual, an AV cable, a power supply, and a single controller. Is this... No, this is not an official Sega. That's a bit horrible. Not an official Sega one, but that doesn't matter. It's fine. That's a bit of a wonky joypad there. And then the next one... Dun, 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 dun. An Atari flashback console. I'm not too sure which one this is. Um, I think it's the first. The first one, I think. I don't know. I'm not sure if this is the one that actually like allows you to modify it and add, in the, add a uh, cartridge slot. Who knows? But this one was $30, but he done it for $25 for me. And it's in fairly good condition as well. Um... Since I have the NES Classic and the NES Mini, and since they released a whole bunch of other classics, I just thought, why not get it? I haven't got one. And I do have an original 2600 console as well, but I can't bother plugging it in RF modulator or all that sort of garbage. It would be interesting to see what's in here, considering it's only four screws that's holding the thing together, but yeah. And they put a cable tie on there. That's nice of them. Also included are uh, two original... It's wireless. Ha! Nice. I can sit in my bed and play Centipede all day long. That's so cool. I didn't even realize that. Oh, yeah, he gave me batteries. Duh. I seen the IR port on the uh, front of it, but I didn't realize that. So there you go. Two wireless controllers. I don't have another friend to play it with. Oh. Ah, well, at least this tells us what it is. It is a Flashback 6. And a hundred games are built into it. Huh. Whoa, ugh. that better not be what I think it is. And I got the 9 volt adapter. Is it 9 volt? 5 volt. 5 volt adapter. Now the next one is the best one, and it also grabbed my gear controller with it. I've been playing VR on my new SA, it's fun. This guy I've been to quite a lot at this market. He sells a whole bunch of phones, and I usually go to him and grab a whole heap, and he does them fairly cheap. So I went there, and, well, you know what, oh, no, I'm going to do one by one. So we have this Sony Xperia here, which doesn't have a battery by the feeling of it. Ah, yeah, I think I've got one of them out in the garage. If I do, that would make for a pretty cool phone. This is an LT25i headphone jack on top. I don't know if it's water resistant. It looks like it's water resistant. That was five dollars, five whole dollars. Amazing. The next one. Oh, yeah, here we go. So this is a Z something compact. Yeah, it might be a Z3, Z5, I don't know, but he's like, it's completely broken. You never know, it might work. I don't know, we'll see if it works, but uh, yeah. Don't know what that is. I will check it and I'll edit it. Come on, lucky pick. Ta-da. Uh, this is an Asus phone, which i only seen Zen phones, I've never seen this one before, and this is from China Mobile, as you can see just there. It's got a very um, strange design to it. Buttons, are, volume rockers are there, camera's there, micro USB port, micro SD. It's got like physical buttons and it's got the three buttons there, and I, I don't know if it uses soft keys or hard keys. Guess who's watching TV on this thing? Not me, because it doesn't work here. It's a pretty big battery for a pretty small phone. Single SIM, Asus, yeah, okay. And I believe this was $5 as well, just with a small crack in the screen, which I don't really care. Next up is a ZTE Q-Lux, I think. ZTE Blade Q-Lux. These things never work. The charging port is always stuffed on them. Otherwise, they're good phones. And I just sold some the other day, uh, and one had a good screen on it. 
So now I'm kind of stuck with another one. Oh well. Here is a pretty smashed up HTC. I'm not sure what this is. I think it's a HTC 310. We'll see if it works or not. When I'm editing this, I'll put if it works or not. Then the next one I have here is this Hummer HT5 touchscreen phone thing. I don't know if it's waterproof as well. I had one of these once upon a time. Had. Don't know what I did with it. Ah. Well. I'm going to say that that's a bit fucked. But let's dry it quickly. Dry it. There we go, it's dry now. <laughs> there, pretty as a picture. Looks great now. You know, it might just work. How, uh, what's this battery rated at? It's rated at nothing. Yeah, anyways, I'll test that and see if it works. Now, the next one I have is a bit of an odd one. It's an iPhone 6, presumably. Uh, this is missing the SIM tray, but it's also missing the screws and you can take the whole screen off it. So there it is there, there's all the internals. That looks a little bit ratty. Um, so I'll just chuck the iPhone on charge. I don't know if it works or not, uh, but that was only $20. Next one here is an iPod Touch, uh, fourth gen. I think it's fourth gen with a blacked out camera. Uh, he didn't say much about this one. He's just like, yeah, whatever. Might be worth something if it works. Let's see if it works. Hey, power's on. Sweet. Oh good, it's been reset, so uh, let's see if it works. Don't be iCloud locked, don't be iCloud locked, don't be iCloud locked, don't be iCloud locked. Don't be iCloud locked, you prick. God damn it. See, this is why I never buy Apple stuff, because it's always iCloud locked. Oh well, paperweight. The next two... Shouldn't be paperweights. Shouldn't. I don't know which one to show you first. I'm going to show you this one first. So he pulls this one out of his car and says, Yeah, I got this one. I'm like, okay. This is a Oppo. Oppo something or other. So it's got like the little iPhone 6 camera there. Yeah, he was just like, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't work. So we will have to try this out. Let me take the back cover off. Oh, yeah, it looks, um, looks fairly iPhone 6-like. Yeah, I was very excited to see this. So that's cool. The next one is by far the coolest one. This is a Huawei, Huawei. And this has a fingerprint scanner and dual cameras. Thank you, I get to finally play with a dual camera phone. Uh, it's got dual firing speakers. So even if it doesn't work, I've still got this to have a look at. Anyways, I'll have to test that as well. So all of these phones here and the iPod fucking iCloud and the iPhone 6 which I don't think works but at least I got a board for it all this cost me $80 now I think that's a pretty good deal you know considering um, even if I just have them for you know if I fix bits and pieces I should be able to make something back off them especially this and the Oppo and the Huawei which would be good. And the iPhone 6, well, I could literally just chuck that on eBay and be like, I don't even know if it fucking works and make a hundred bucks off it. Probably. But anyways, that is it. The total spent will be listed right there. Yeah, I think I spent a little bit too much today, but I haven't been there in a while and I want to go back. I was finally there and it was good. If I was there early, I might have got some other bargains as well, but, you know, I can only get there at a certain time, so... I hope you enjoyed this video of Flea Market Pickups, episode 2. Maybe it's ongoing. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> but super stoked to get these phones. Um, and yeah, I don't care if half of them don't work. It's, it's, it, it's something for me to do. Something creative for me to do. So, and as I said, I'll edit in... Um, Anything that does work or doesn't work or whatever, I'll let you guys know. Anyways, thank you once again, and I will see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Comment below if you would like to see more content like this. We'll see you in the next one.